Sometimes when working with large datasets, you may find blank and non-blank cells are present randomly and simultaneously. In these cases, we need to find the cells to check the missing data and make the dataset uniform. In this regard, it would be of great help if we could apply some features to highlight the non-blank cells automatically. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel Vivia related challenges. I'm Shahriya Arbar Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to highlight row if cell is not blank in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Here I have an employee dataset containing employees ID, their full names, departments, designations, hiring dates and their annual salaries. In this dataset, I'll highlight the rows depending on various conditions like no cell is blank along the row or the first cell is non-blank but some other cell is blank along the row, specific cell containing specific values and so on. You can notice that there are blank cells in this dataset. Here, I'll use Excel not and is blank functions with conditional formatting feature to highlight rows if the rows contain no blank cells. So, in the final result, we will see that row 5, row 12, and etc. will be highlighted because there are no blank cells in these rows. Now, select the entire dataset in the B5 to G23 range. Then, go to the Home tab. In the Styles group, click on the conditional formatting drop down icon. Select New Rule option. It will open the new formatting rule dialog box. Select use a formula to determine which cells to format as the rule type. After that, enter the formula in the format values where this formula is true box for the rule description. Equal to, I'll use the count blank function. As the range argument, I'll write B5 to G5. Close the parenthesis and equal to 0. Here, I've used two dollar signs to make the column references absolute so that the column number doesn't get changed. The count blank function counts the number of blank cells in the range from cell B5 to cell G5. In other words, it checks how many cells in that row are empty. Then the formula checks if the count of blank cells in that row is equal to 0. So this formula will highlight the entire row if there are no blank cells in that row. Next, click on the format button. It will open the format cells dialog box. Go to the fill tab and choose a fill color to highlight the cells. Here I am selecting this light shade and click OK. You can see the sample of your applied background color in the preview panel. Click OK. You can see all the rows of the entire dataset while no cell is blank are highlighted with the selected fill color. In this method, I'll highlight rows that have data in the first column but contains blank at some other cells along the row. But if the first data in a row is blank, then it will ignore the highlighting. Now, select the entire dataset and in a similar way like the previous method, open the new formatting rule dialog box. Insert the formula in the format values where this formula is true box. Equal to, I'll use the AND function, opening parenthesis. Then, the NOT function, again open a parenthesis. Then, the is blank function, open parenthesis, giving the cell reference of cell B5. Close the parenthesis, again closing the parenthesis, comma, then the counter function giving the cell reference of cell B5 to G5. Closing the parenthesis, less than 6. Close the parenthesis. Here, the counter function counts how many non-empty cells there are in the row from cell B5 to cell G5. If the count is less than 6, this condition is true. There are 6 columns in this dataset. So, the total number of cells in a row is 6. If your dataset's column number differs, then you have to change this number according to your need. This checks if the first cell in a row, which is cell B5 in this case, is not blank. The isBlank function tells us if a cell is empty and NOT function reverses it. So, it checks if the cell is not empty. This is like a checklist. Both conditions inside the parenthesis must be true for the row to be highlighted. So, to summarize, this formula checks if the first cell in the row is not empty and if there are fewer than 6 non-empty cells in the row. If both of these conditions are met, then the row will be highlighted. I'll keep the formatting like before. You will find your desired result, that is, all the rows that contain data in the first cell but contain other blank cells along the row are highlighted. Now I'll highlight the rows based on specific values contained by specific column along the row.
the main focus will be on highlighting the rows that contain specific text or specific values or range of values, etc. In this example, I'll highlight the rows that contain a specific employee name, department or designation based on a dynamic choice of selection by the user. So, I have to create a drop-down list with data validation and then apply conditional formatting to highlight the desired rows. First, give a heading in cell I4. Select the cell and type down Match Column. To create a dynamic choice list in cell I5, click on the cell, go to the Data tab. In the Data Tools group, click on the Data Validation command icon. The Data Validation window will appear. Now, choose the option List from the Allow drop-down and reference cell C4 to E4 in the source box as we want the employee name department and designation in our dynamic list now click ok a drop down arrow is inserted beside cell i5 click on the icon here choose any option that you want as a criteria to match to highlight rows here i am selecting designation to declare a heading for the next input based on this drop down selection click on cell i6 and insert the formula here equal to match ampersand operator and select cell i5 and make the cell reference absolute by pressing f4 in the keyboard press enter let's format this cell select the cell go to the home tab make it bold and center aligned and middle aligned apply a fill color then select cells in the i4 to i7 range and apply all borders also increase the font size to 12 select cell i5 and i7 and make them middle aligned and center aligned Say you want to match the manager designation to highlight your dataset rows. Put that value in cell i7. Now select your desired dataset here B5 to G23. Go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting drop down, and the New Rule option. Then select the rule type. Now I'll paste my formula in the format values where this formula is true box. In this formula, I use nested if functions. This checks if the value in the i5 cell is equal to the value of the c4 cell. If the condition is true, it checks if the c5 cell contains the same text as the i7 cell. If this is true, the row will be highlighted. If this condition is false, it moves on to the next check. This if function checks if the i5 cell value is equal to the d4 cell value. If this condition is true, it checks if the d5 cell contains the same text as the i7 cell. If this is true, the row will be highlighted. If neither of these conditions is met, it moves on to the final check. It checks if the i5 cell value is equal to the e4 cell value. If this condition is true, it checks if the e5 cell contains the same text as the i7 cell. If this is true, the row will be highlighted. In summary, this formula looks at different cells in columns I, C, D, and E and it highlights a row if the I5 cell matches a specific cell and the corresponding cell in the same row in columns C, D, or E contains the same text as the I7 cell. Now I'll choose the same format. Here you can see that all the rows are highlighted that contain manager as the designation value. You can simply select other drop down options and input other values as well to highlight those rows. In the dataset, you can see that there are designations as both manager and assistant manager. Now, I want to highlight rows that contain either of these designations. So, I need to find a partial match for the manager and then apply conditional formatting to highlight the rows. Here, in cell i5, I have created a drop down list just like the previous method. To show the partially matched column heading, I have inserted the formula in cell i6. Then, I have inserted my desired partial match input in cell i7. I am testing with manager. As like before, I'll apply the conditional formatting. Here, I'll paste my formula. You can get all this formula from the article linked in the description box. This formula is similar to the previous methods one. So, if you watch it carefully, then there will be no problem to understand it. Just explaining the portion of the search function. It searches for the text in cell i7 within the text in cell c5. It returns the position where it starts. If the position is greater than 0, that means the text is found. So, the row contains the specific text you are looking for. Now, click on the Format button, go to the Fill tab and select the background color. Click OK. Again, click OK to close the dialog box. You will find all the rows with partially matched manager designation are highlighted with the preferred fill color.
The previous two examples showed highlighting rows with matches to string. In this example, I'll find matches with numeric values and highlight the rows with desired formatting. In the annual salary column, you can see various values of salaries. Now I'll highlight rows that contain a specific salary or a specific range of salary. First, let's create an output range in the I4 to J6 range. Now I'll insert a drop down in cell I6. So I have selected this cell. Now open the data validation dialog box like before. Here in the settings tab, choose list in the allow drop down. Now insert symbols separated by commas in the source box. Here I'll insert greater than or equal to comma greater than comma less than comma less than or equal to comma equal to. Click OK and the data validation is now active. Choose your desired criteria operator from the drop down. Let's choose equal to for this example. Now insert your desired specific value in cell J6. I'm entering 600k here. Now I have to apply the conditional formatting. So select the dataset in the B5 to G23 range and open the new formatting rule dialog box in the usual way. Now insert the formula in the format values where this formula is true box. Here in this box, I'll paste my formula. This formula is also consisted of nested if function like the previous two methods. So there is no need to explain it separately. In summary, this formula checks the value in cell G5 against a specific value in cell J6 based on the comparison operator in cell I6. If the condition is true for any of the comparisons, the row will be highlighted. If none of the conditions are true, nothing happens. Let's set the same formatting here also. It will result in highlighting all the rows of the dataset that contain an annual salary equal to 6 lakh with the desired fill color. You can select any other criteria from the drop down and insert any other value to highlight rows according to your own target. In this tutorial, I have shown multiple real-life applications to highlight row if cell is not blank in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. Use the one that suits your need. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving Exceldemy community forum where you can post your Excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.